drummers, Gary Williams is back with another drum lesson. This is the Afro-Cuban 6-8 jam. This is just such an awesome groove. There's a traditional version, and the version I'm playing now is more of a contemporary version. So there's two different bell patterns. I'll demonstrate the traditional one, and then I'll demonstrate the contemporary, or the one I just played, more of a funk modern version, so you can see the difference. So here's the traditional. So with that one, ding 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 ding. So now I'm going to demonstrate the contemporary one, so you can hear the slight different variation in the bell pattern, and what I do with the bass and snare is also different. So that gives you this sort of halftime vibe, which I think the funk shuffle originated from this Afro-Cuban 6-8 played in that kind of halftime feel. So it's really a cool groove. Sometimes when I'm playing some shuffles or some hip hop stuff, um, and certainly with swing, that's a known thing. You can listen to some recordings with Elvin where he goes in and out of Afro-Cuban 6-8 and swing. Art Blakey, awesome, these guys. You really gotta check that stuff out. But I like this also in a contemporary version on my modern, modern drum set versus my bebop kit where I played. Much more authentic, like an old school player. But this is kind of the way I like to do it on this kit. So the bass drum is following the right hand. The left hand's playing filler notes and soft ghost strokes and then a backbeat, but you can also vary the left hand dynamics and you can orchestrate it around the toms as you saw me do. So I'm just going to close out playing a little bit more of this groove, kind of spice it up, maybe add some double bass, but it's a really a fun one. So check it out. Get a hold of me if you'd like me to show you how to do this stuff. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.